Hi, I'm Dave Granger, and I'd like to welcome you to the Guilds Classics. This is a YouTube channel that showcases the various skills, talents, and crafts that the employees here use to restore people's cars. Land Rovers and I go back a long way, and, and to tell you the honest truth, all of this exists simply because of Land Rovers. You know, a long time ago, longer ago than I care to admit these days, uh, I was a wildlife artist and I used to have to go in the bush and everything, and, and uh, to do that I needed a vehicle that could get me out there. So I bought an old Land Rover. At that time I didn't even know how a carburetor worked. I mean, the only time I'd had any experience with a carburetor, I took my eyebrows off with my 67 Firebird. So anyway, uh, you know, within six months of owning a Land Rover, I was becoming pretty adept at repairing all kinds of things I didn't even know what they were six months before. Uh, you know, that sort of continued, and that, that uh, necessity prompted fascination. And that fascination extended to the point where at one point I had, you know, 10 or 11 uh, Series 2 and Series 1 Land Rovers all sitting around to look like a, a British junkyard. That went on for quite a few years and then, you know, I finally I sort of wised up and I started driving things that could do more than 45 miles an hour and, and uh, you know, my life changed and changed again and then I ended up with the Guild and everything that entails and with lots and lots of vehicles. But, you know, Land Rover has still got a real soft place in my heart for Land Rovers and, uh, you know, we have a 1961 that, that Janice fell in love with and we spent way too much money getting it finished. Uh, and not finished cosmetically, just finished so it could be driven. And um, But I'm too smart these days, at least I think I'm too smart, to actually take a Land Rover and restore it to brand new condition. But we had the great opportunity for a, a very valued client to do just that with a big military defender. He bought two of them off of a base in Alberta. They were British military trucks. Brought them in here. One we sort of just prepared for his kids to use and goof around with. And we did enough work to make it safe and usable. Um, but not much more. But the second one, he wanted a full-blown restoration. And, and honest to God, I've been walking past this truck in its various stages for a long time now. And uh, every time I walk past, I just want it. And thank God, today, it finally left. So I'm not tormented with something I can't possibly uh, have. You know, simply because the amount of money it takes to restore something like that these days and and you know the feasibility of that for me at this point with so many projects on the go of my own let alone other people's um, I can't see it so unless I buy one uh, I ain't gonna have this but the nice thing is I got to participate in its restoration I got to sort of watch the entire prog progress of the project and sort of shepherd it along down the road so uh, pretty pleased very proud of this truck and uh, boy, I hope the owner enjoys it for a long time to come. I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you want more information, visit our podcast. The uh, link is in the description below.